A lot of people ask me a lot what I mean by the 1994 rub invasion. If you don't know what a rub is, it's a rich urban biker. I call it the middle age midlife crisis. Well, before 94, it really wasn't cool to be a biker. Everybody would look down on us. They'd actually run across the street if they actually seen you walking. It wasn't a very good time. Again, it wasn't cool to be a biker like it is today. But Harley Davidson started a bunch of campaigns where they started targeting not their core customer, but those that had money. It got so bad where you actually, in Illinois I'm talking about now, you had to be on a waiting list to buy a new Harley because they were just selling them like hotcakes. And they were selling them to these rich urban bikers. That's why today you hear everybody complaining, oh, the price of a Harley's too much money. Well, prices of Harleys weren't that bad back then, not before the rub invasion. When the rub invasion came in, boy, the price of them bikes skyrocketed. Now, I know a company has to make money, but here's what you do. Look up, say, a 1990 Sporty. Just for example, a 90 Sporty. Look at the price of what it was in the 90. Then go to say 95 or 96 and look up that sporty. Guarantee you it went through the freaking roof. Again, I know Harley has to make money and I bump on them a lot. I do. I bump on them a lot. That's because, you know, I love the bike, but I hate the company, but I still want to see them succeed. Don't want to see them go bankrupt. So, yeah, I'm going to point stuff out. That's when it all started. That's when I believe everything started going downhill. Then God forbid when them damn biker shows hit cable. Now, I personally love Biker Build-Off because it had to deal with bikes. It gave Indy and Larry, freaking Jesse James, all of them an outlet, which is you know really brought them to the forefront because those were master crafters, man. They knew what the hell they were doing, and it was great seeing bike builders who were looked down upon in the early 90s and all that stuff to get their due. But then you had shows like American Choppers. Boy, did the rubs freaking flock to that. If you look at Wild Hogs, that movie, when they're in that diner scene, it's nothing but rubs. That is the epitome of of what rubs do was in that one scene. And who better than Paul Tuttle to be in it? So American Chopper, they brought in that ugly ass chopper craze, man. Ugly ass. And then you see these rich urban bikers running around on these freaking flaming choppers. Personally, I thought they were ugly. I didn't think they had any craftsmanship to them. I just thought they were a nasty looking bike. But that's just me. That's just me. Others might have liked it. But you see them go all over the place, man. You started seeing the prices of the bikes go through the roof in the early 2000s. We thought it was bad in the mid-90s. But when it came to the early 2000s, that's when it all went to hell. And it continued on that streak into about 2014. And behind that growth was nothing but the middle age, midlife crisis people that wanted to live hard. You know, their freaking uh, <laughs> way of living hard and mine is a totally different deal. But that's what brought on all this political correctness in the biker scene. It really did. It, was, it usually wasn't like that. You know, you usually only had a lot of guys that lived it 24-7. It was all about motorcycles. You know, they'd ramble off specs to you in a heartbeat. I knew this one uh, Triumph mechanic down in Chicago. This dude was a freaking walking encyclopedia. He had a, down to a freaking science the way he knew how the bikes worked. Well, 
that wasn't the case as the rub started coming into the scene because tch, let's face it they didn't have they didn't want to work on their bikes they brought it to the mechanics at uh, Harley Davidson who charged them out the a hole they they took it everywhere except the independent biker the independent biker shop there's some really good ones but you do got to watch for the really bad ones but I say support your local biker-owned business. Them, they're more into the corporate crap. Come on, you see these guys hanging out at the dealership. The dealership, for Christ's sake. Sitting there, eating coffee, donuts. And they do it on a daily basis. And you think to yourself, what the hell's wrong with you people? So, in short... That's when I, as myself, personally see everything started going downhill where it started changing. Uh, you should have seen some of the comments when I talked about uh, that one dude getting slapped by a woman right there in public, didn't do nothing about it. Then he had people saying, well, we shouldn't hit women. Like I said in that video, somebody slaps the hell out of me, I'm slapping them back. I don't care what gender you are. But that was our way of thinking back then. It is not now. Have we evolved? I think for the worse. I personally think for the worse. But again, that's just my opinion. What do you guys think of the 94 rub invasion? If you were alive back then, you know, I know a lot of ones that are out there now were, were just little kids back then. But how do you think everything's changed? Do you think it changed for the better or for the worse? Let me know in the comment section, guys. Take it easy.